Trust has been such a key factor in readings recently. I mean, overall, more ways than one, more than love. It's trusting the process. It's trusting friends. It's trusting yourself to know you do know truly what is good for you. You're not living in a state of thinking really there's anybody around you that there's these red flags to. You experience a humongous part of your life surrounded by individuals of red flags. We all have. It's the process. The way you truly find yourself comes from having to pick yourself up from the ground. Tower moments create the ability to truly form who you are without any other influence. What this overall motion of trust though in this beginning of this week, because I'm filming this right on Monday, there's, there's been this uh, transfer of spending my time focusing on what I need to improve in myself versus seeing I'm, I'm good. It's not that I've, I'm settling. It's not that I'm not promoting myself to continue to become even greater of an individual overall as a person, a skill, a task, etc. But I'm no longer, I've, I've put a death to thinking I'm not enough yet. Like I'm, like I'm waiting for some, for me to pass some check line, some check mark and be ready for this next step. I feel the pre-workout effect within you. This, this, this shake, this excitement, this confidence in your own abilities in more ways than one. The people that are surrounding your life currently, they have your best interest. You can feel it. Right now, there is maybe a love. For a lot of you here, there's a love aspect of your life where things are going good. But a lot of you have been waiting in love for a next step. I'll get this sign when it's time to go forward with this person or I'll track the right person in after I've completed X, Y, Z. Basically, telling yourself you can't take the leap of faith, like you're waiting for a ticket for something. A lot of you couldn't put your finger on it, but you felt like something was keeping you back. You didn't know if it was love, if it was career, if it was, if it was anybody you were attached to that could be hindering like growth. You just felt like something was stagnant. You've taken many leaps of faith in your life. There, were, uh, there was a whole part of your life where you're like, you know what, I have nothing to lose, truly. So I am going to put my all into what I believe I'm meant to do here or who I believe in, etc. That developed throughout time and now you have the world. Something you're learning is that drive, that motivating factor. Part of the spiritual awakening is learning how to not even have to prove things to yourself anymore. Just genuinely know you are deserving of space, time, energy, attention, etc. Happiness. A big portion of you here have been afraid that you haven't been taking a leap of faith when really you've been trusting in divine guidance. You're going with the waves of the world. You're not going against the current. So with all of these achievements, there seems to be some new form of leap of faith that's entered your life. It definitely is regarding to not having a lack mindset when it comes to love. You see that there's so much around to give your time and energy to. It's great to have that one person. It's imperative to have that one person. But this life is about loving more than just one person. You have your friends, you have your family. You have individuals that you're like, you know what, I haven't spoken to you in like a year. And I've just filled the call. I feel the call to, to re-enter back in each other's life and to share these experiences we've had. A lot of you here have been called to intertwine back into soul family members' lives. The ones that have known you for a long time and the ones that have only known you for a short, however it resonates. You've been called to build community. Spirit says others can only build community with you when you allow yourself to step out of your comfort zone. Individuals can get up to that line to your door and say, hey, you want to come? But they will not be able to open the door for you. 
If some of you here have been filling this sense of, am I doing enough to make somebody feel comfortable, to want to see where this can go. Spirit wants you to, to throw away the notion that you haven't been doing things correctly. To be quite frank, you've been doing them as perfect as perfect can be when it comes to this person. I'm meaning respecting their space, being communicative still, being sincere and honest, vulnerable through strength, etc. What's going on is this other person dealing with that leap of faith, that, that feeling you've overcame over and over again. They're entering a part where they truly are seeing it from an outside perspective or I'm even hearing an outside perspective. This is turning into a love reading. This is going to be the second reading I've filmed today is continuing the love aspect, but we need to get back to you for now. This self-guidance, this comes after. You've, you've gone ahead and rebuilt the way you see yourself when you look even in the mirror. You used to see these parts of yourself that were your weaknesses that you felt were not enough or too little or too much. And now you see perfection, your perfection. You've taken charge of all of the love you were trying to search for in other people, right? All of this validation. You see clear as day where, when, and how those problems stemmed from. You got to the root and you pulled them. In the past two weeks, you've gone down some form of a journey, whether this was a spiritual or 3D world journey that made you have a lot of time being by yourself. Just sitting, not even like sitting in your head. Like if you were, I feel some people could have been driving. You could have gone on a long road trip and you had all this time to yourself or you could have just been at home um, having some time off, really sitting and marinating about things. You didn't even know you were pushing off. This whole mindset, this whole time, you saw the resolutions and the straightforward actions. That is not me. That is something that doesn't align with the way I feel anymore. I see you have the confidence to embrace all sides of yourself. There was a whole journey. There was a whole door you had never opened before involving going within to who you are. You took a mask off to your inner teenager. You truly saw that you were almost scared of having a conversation with them, like you failed them in some way. But something about this past two weeks, for a lot of you specifically this past week, you looked straight forward and had a conversation about how much you actually have succeeded and how safe your inner teenager does feel with you. There were monsters that you were scared of that now you don't even see as monsters. I feel a deep amount of fear washed away. You explored a part of yourself that now that you have seen, you can never go back. And it's in the most like relieving way. It's like somehow you were able to slip out of your body and see how other people do see you. But not even just that, how the universe fills with you in it. Your frequency, what it does. Some of you could have had like a, a really deep dream, astral projection, etc. Because this feels like going into a place where time doesn't even exist. So what I'm hearing from this reading, to sum it up, is you have healed an entire portion of yourself that had to be completed before love or anything else was meant to flourish. If you felt some stagnation when it came to your money, that's over with. If you felt some stagnation in your love life, that's over with. The only thing now to focus on is not the lack. It's leading by compassion. You want others to be compassionate with themselves? You have to be with yourself. It's remembering that your job in this world is not to make things ooey gooey positive. You're meant to keep things in flow and motion. You're part of this existence. Not every frequency, not every thought you have is yours. It comes into play when you allow to attach your emotions and your actions. The only thing you are to focus on going forward 
is that state of empathy that you are leading by example, releasing the imposter syndrome, and knowing you really do not have anything to fear with the ones you are trusting and opening up yourself to right now. If you've been feeling called to get yourself out there and join more community-based events or groups, etc., I got a great place for you to go ahead and be one of the ones to start my Discord server. My Discord server is a safe space for you to be your true authentic self, surrounded by other like-minded people, part of your collective. People go into giving each other advice, being there to, to listen to, all the way to just sharing awesome memes and jokes and what you're doing throughout your day. There's a whole section that's a personal introduction area, if you will, where you introduce yourself and instantly you're gonna be invited. You're gonna be welcomed. You're going to feel and see we, the only person we want to show up there is your authentic you. So that link is in my Instagram bio, on my YouTube videos and in my YouTube bio and on my website, offprintmint.com. That's what I got for y'all today. I'll see you when I see you. Let's get it.